everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, on Mondays, I usually do a Monday makeup um, blog post. So today I'm doing it through the video. I'm going to be talking about my favorite drugstore mascaras. There is a ton of them out there. I couldn't just narrow it down to like five or six, so I've got like ten here. I'm going to try to get through them as quick as possible. Let's start off with um, this one. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Loads of Lashes. This mascara is somewhere around $5, which is a steal for it. It's got the green and pink packaging, which is like 40 years of the same packaging because they've used the green and pink tube forever. I remember my mom using this when I was a little girl. Not the loads of lashes, but the the normal one. Um, and let me show you the brush. So it's a synthetic brush. It's supposed to be heart shaped. When you hold it like this, it's supposed to like be a heart. And the only thing I say about this one is that since it's tapered down so low, you're going to want to wipe off the excess. But it does really good with getting into the corners of my lashes. It actually grabs my lashes really well. It volumizes them. It does lengthen a little bit. The formula is the same formula that they've had for years. So I have a couple of them um, because I've used them for so long. I think they're wonderful, and I think if you're wanting to save some money on mascara, this would probably be a great one to go for. It does hold a curl really, really well, <clears throat> and um, it's just iconic. It's amazing, and I hope um, more people try this line out because I know you see the green and pink packaging, you think cheap mascara, it's been out forever. Well, there's a reason it's been out forever. It's because it's really good. And so, I love this mascara. The loads of lashes. The brush is one of my absolute favorites. Love it. The next one, and these are like in random order. It's not like my favorite to my least favorite. These are like all favorites. Is the L'Oreal Villamis False Fiber Black Liqueur Mascara. Now, this has another natural brush. Let me show you. It's long. And being that it's so skinny, it really does get into the base of your lashes really, really good. So, um, it doesn't clump, and um, it does hold the curl. It has smudged on me just a little bit whenever I had it on my bottom lashes and my eyes started to water. I didn't get the waterproof, so I can't really complain about that. But, I can put on coat after coat after coat and build this up. That look like false lashes. It really works well. So, one of my other top favorites. Um, and then to accompany that, here is the Lumin the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara. It has, again, the natural brush. It's a lot thicker, though. So, it really does build up the volume on your lashes. It um, coats really, really well. It does give a little bit more of a natural look um, than this one, but, um, you know, you can build this up and make it look quite dramatic. It's really a nice mascara. I used this in college a lot. One of the classics is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Everybody has done reviews on this. There's probably like a bazillion reviews for this mascara on um, the internet. You either love it or you hate it. It's got this gigantic synthetic brush. Just trying to lay down the tube without it getting on something. It has a gigantic brush. And, you know, it's it's amazing. It's a great mascara. Um, the only thing that I find is that, being that it's such a big brush, trying to get those little hairs. I'm going to have like a massive amount of mascara. I'm going to look like Tammy Faye Baker by the time I'm done with this video. Um, it is a little bit harder to get the, the lashes that are on the inner corner. So, you know, this is the waterproof version. It never smears. It never smudges. Um, it doesn't flake. And um, even the waterproof version washes off easily. And that's really good because for me, um, a lot of mascaras, even the water, uh, mainly the waterproof, are so hard to wash off that, you know, you pull your lashes out and or you, you get off as much as you can and your lashes still feel crispy. 
but this one washes off super easy and I'm very very happy with it. It does give you the, the volume effect, it lengthens, it curls, very good. The next mascara I'll talk to you about is one that I used in high school a ton. It is the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara. It has a natural brush. It's huge though. Look how big that brush is. Huge. Um, this one is all natural. It, I mean, it's not an all natural mascara, but it's very all natural looking. It gives a very feathery look to your lashes. <clears throat> It's a little bit more of a dry formula, but, you know, it dries really easily and it's not like going to make your lashes hard or, or crispy, if you will. Um, I think the best thing about this mascara is that it has olive oil in it and it's supposed to, like, nourish your lashes and not only, you know, make them look really natural and feathery, it's supposed to, you know, fill them with good ingredients so your net lashes stay healthy. And I think that's a very, very good tip on this. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup or you're someone who doesn't like the fake lash look, this is the one to go for. It's such a nice mascara. I think it's perfect for like a Sunday when you're home and you don't want to be completely makeup free, but you don't want to be made up either. I think this is the one to pick out. It's a, it's a great mascara. Um... I don't have the prices on all these. I bought them at different times. You'll just have to find out what they are at your local drugstore. Now, I have been using here recently the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. The brush, again, is very similar to the CoverGirl Lash Blast brush. It's synthetic and it's huge. Um, and this has been my go-to mascara for probably the last month. Now, this is the waterproof version. Um, what I can say about this is that it really does lengthen and give volume at the same time. And it actually curls my lashes. Um, I did a blog review on this a while back. You can check it out on my blog at kjaggers.com. Just put it in the little search and you'll, it'll pull it right up. This has been so good. Um, I got it... I got this one um, because I had one like this. I took it down to my father-in-law's funeral, and it was waterproof. I didn't want my makeup to smear, and my my uh, mother-in-law used it, and she loved it. She kept it, and I bought another one, um, and really, I haven't seen any flaking, any smudging, anything like that. It does take a little more effort to get off especially if you pile it on, but it works really, really well. Um, one thing I have tried is putting a little bit on, letting it dry, taking my lash curler, curling my lashes, and then adding more, and it really gives a gigantic effect. I mean, huge. Um, I really, really like it. I think that for the price, this is one of the best drugstore mascaras out there. You either love it or you hate it. You just have to give it a shot and try it. Let's see. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express in Cat Eyes. Now, this is a combination that I have been using for a while. I pile on the rocket, and then I come over with this right at my outer corners. And let me show you the brush. It's got this spoon brush. It looks like that. So you can flip it over and go up, or you can take it like this. For me, it works best when I take the spoon this direction and go right into the corners of my eyes. It really gives a very nice cat eye effect. When I use it on its own, I don't get that much volume. I don't get that much um, length. It's not one of my favorites to use on its own, but when you... Add it with another mascara. It works so, so good. So, I love the packaging. Everybody knows I love cats. So, this leopard packaging definitely stood out. And, um, you know, I don't think I will be repurchasing this. But that does not mean it's not a great mascara. I really do like it. I, um, I might repurchase it. I'm not really sure. This is not the um, 
waterproof version. It is just the regular one. And when you go like this and take it, it really doesn't work well. I think that's where a lot of people are getting hung up. The best way to use it with, is with the brush in that direction and coming up on the ends. Works great. Now, let's talk about color mascaras. I know a lot of you guys do not like color mascaras. I know it. I know a lot of people think it looks trashy, but there are ways of wearing it where it looks super nice and it gives like a pop to your eyes. For me, one of my favorites is the Physician's Formula um, Shimmer Strips in Blue Eyes. So at this end, if I can get this sucker open, it has this majorly big brush. It's kind of the same as the Organic um, Mascara by Physician's Formula, you know, the one with the leaf. And I have that too. I love this mascara actually. The black is amazing. And let me show you this really pretty blue. It comes off like that. Look at that color. So pretty. So how I like to wear it is I like to take a little bit of the black and go ahead and put it on and then just come up with the blue right on the tips of my lashes. It works really, really nice to um, just give that pop or just wearing it on your bottom lashes. Another blue that I like is by Hard Candy and I find that line at Walmart. Here it is. It's got a brush that has a little bit of a bend. Look at that pretty color. I'll even put some on my hand. It's kind of hard. It's so pretty. Kind of matches what I'm wearing today. Um, another nice, nice blue mascara. Now, I do believe that they have the Great Lash in blue, too. Um, speaking of Great Lash, one of my other favorites of all time is the Great Lash Clear Mascara. Not for my eyelashes, but I think it's wonderful for your eyebrows. So, you just put it on. It holds all the hairs in place. I think every girl needs one of these in their makeup bag. It's only like five bucks. I don't know where you could go wrong. It does get dirty and goopy after, you know, you do your brows with brow powder or gel. And then go over it with this, but it really doesn't matter. Um, it, it just becomes like a tinted brow gel when you when it does get all dirty, but I, I usually switch it out before that happens. Um, and that is about it for um, drugstore mascaras. Again, you don't have to spend a lot of money on high-end mascaras when you're just going to have to replace them anyway. I do have a video coming up very soon of like my top six, I guess, um, high-end mascaras, and um, I will have that up maybe in a week or two, I'm not sure, um, but there are so many alternatives, so many at the drugstore that you should be able to find whatever you're looking for there. Again, my top picks out of these, my absolute, it's so hard to pick, have a top pick, would have to be the Rocket, the Black Looker, and the Great Lashes. Um, I really like all of them. I use all of them. Um, some of them are a little bit older than three months, but again, when you use a mascara over three months, you're really risking infection or you're risking the formula is going to change and it's not going to work like it is intended to work or like it originally worked. So you definitely want to make sure you toss all the old mascaras. There's no sense in even holding on to that stuff. You're going to want to... Um, you know, pick one that works well with you. If you have watery eyes, you're definitely going to want a waterproof. If your lashes are thin, you're going to have volumizing. If you have small lashes that need some length, you're going to want one that has um, some fibers maybe in it to give you a little more length. Again, there's so many alternatives out there. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have a drugstore mascara that you want to recommend, leave it in the comments below or leave it on my blog at kjaggers.com, and I will definitely test it out and tell you what I think of it. I'm willing to try any of the ones that are out there. Actually, I have a whole bunch more upstairs. I just had to limit it to my favorites today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.